to my channel. I have another DIY designs episode for you guys. I believe it's episode three, but we are going to be designing my dream bathroom today. We are talking Pinterest worthy, no budget in mind. We are just going to dream big. And lately I've found a bunch of different interior design pages on Instagram. I will list a few here for you if you are interested in that, but they have just so much inspiration and a lot of them just really correlate with my style. They're super high end and expensive looking, which they actually might be, but I would like to think that someday I could get that sort of thing for a lot less expensive. But yeah, so today we are going to be walking through a couple different apps. We have SketchUp for actually building the room, actually showing you guys the finishes and what exactly I'm envisioning. And then also Milano, which I have mentioned before, which is like a mood board free app. So I put all of those images together, which I will be showing you. And I'm just really, really excited to show you guys what I have come up with. And let me know in the comments below if you could just dream the biggest that you possibly could, no money in mind, what is something that you would have in your dream bathroom? Let me know in the comments. I have quite a few things that we will talk about in this video that aren't necessarily necessities, obviously, just things that would be nice, things that are extra like myself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, first let's talk about my aesthetic and the sort of feel, the sort of mood that I want in this room. And if you guys know me, you guys know that I really love my neutrals and also that my style has changed quite a bit over the past year or so. Recently, I started following this YouTuber, Jenna Pierce. I'll have her channel linked down below as well as all the other DIY designs videos that we did. We also did a makeover of one of the DIY designs. So make sure you check the link below. And I think I just kicked my tripod. Sorry about that. But I have really been influenced by her. I really love the modern feel. I really I really like sort of a modern base and I really like to add in vintage pieces to sort of accent it. I like to add in other colors and stuff like that and it just gets me so, so giddy every time. So this is what we have going. This is Milano. As I said, it's free to download. There's just a certain amount of space you can use. So once I'm done with a mood board, I will delete everything on it and then I will make a new one. So this is what we have here. Lots of neutral tones, lots of earthy tones. We have lots of contrast and just really, really fun stuff. So let's start up in this upper left hand corner. So this here is an accent wallpaper and in my dream bathroom, we will get to this. I would love to have like a separate sort of toilet room. It would just be so, so nice. And I feel like in a smaller room like that, it'd be fun to sort of take this wallpaper and maybe even like another material like a wood or a tile and sort of accent it throughout that little room just so it has a little pop of color, but it's still neutral. This one, I just realized has like animals on it. I think it's like a tiger and like a stag or like a what is it? gazelle, something like that. Something with some pointy little antlers there. But I think this is actually really fun. I actually would put this real wallpaper in my house because it's not too themey. Like you really have to look close to see that there's animals in it. But I think it'd be fun to put in there. Um, this is just a little pop-up of some vintage artwork pieces that I found on Pinterest. And I just really love the natural look of them. I like landscape, animals stuff like that. So something to bring in those greens, those taupes, those warm browns and whites, just kind of bring it all together. I love olive trees, so that's that right there. I love this vanity. I think I would want something a little bit, tiny bit darker. I really like contrast lately, and I love how there's some storage underneath for towels and things like that. And then I also love these mirrors. I'd maybe do some circular ones, but I also really ones. And then over here in terms of lighting, I have a couple different options and I feel like they're both so different. This top one with like a little sphere, very modern. I think it'd be so, so pretty. I love accents of gold along with black just to make sure that it's not too harsh, but I really like this modern one. And I also kind of like this more classic one. Like I said, I really like vintage accents. So honestly, I think either of these would do. So it really would just depend. And in SketchUp, we're not going to be able to get these exact finishes and things, which is also part of the reason why I'm showing this mood board. The next part here is our tile. I am 
on board with the trend of the sort of off-white textured tile. I love this. I think I might do a rectangular form, sort of vertical, um, just so, I don't know, I just like that a little bit better, but I do love this square, don't get me wrong. But I just love the different tones. There's like some light grays, there's a little bit of brown in there. Like I just like how each one varies a little bit and it just gives it some dimension rather than just being like a shiny, flat, white wall, if that makes sense. And then, as we were talking about contrast, I love this tile right here. I would maybe go for something a little bit less warm tone, but I, I don't know, I kind of like it. But I just like the really big tile. It's a bit darker, it contrasts really, really well with everything else, and it just really makes a statement. And let's be real, any sort of light tile is hard to keep clean, so something like this, be perfect and lastly let's go over to these two pictures I'm gonna jump to this picture right here of the shower door I feel like it's such a luxe feeling to have like a separate room for your shower it's like huge it's got this big glass door that's framed beautifully I just love the contrast of it I love arches on any sort of door and there probably will be some arched antique doors because I love them so much. And lastly, here is the tub. We have never had a tub like this. We've always had a tub shower sort of combination. And this is just like a dream of mine to have like a big sleek oval tub. And I just love that. And I love how they have this little pedestal here with the plant. Like I said, love greenery, love natural elements. So I just really love what's going on here. So that is the sort of mood that we are going for. And now I believe we can jump into SketchUp and start putting this together. All right. So for this part of the video, we are, like I said, going to be jumping into SketchUp. I already worked on this in the last few days. So I'm just going to sort of narrate what I was putting together, what I was thinking, and how I got to the final goal. So the first thing was getting our overall layout. I did a rough, I think like 12 by 22 sort of room. Like I said, we're thinking Lux, we're thinking big, and this is going to be a pretty large bathroom. I added some great big windows for some natural light and then I added on the bathroom and the closet like the little toilet room and I believe I made those like six by ten or something like that. Again super big. I figured that there wasn't going to be much storage in the vanity so it'd be nice to have a nice big closet to be able to store everything and really organize everything intentionally. Next I decided to put on some nice arched antique doors. I love the idea of being able to go to an antique shop or some sort of even like garage sale yard sale those places usually have a lot of antique doors and I feel like it'd be really fun to source a couple that were pretty much identical and have them sort of be an accent in that space I love the character they would add and I feel like they just are very rustic and like I said they just make a really big statement they warm up the space I'd love to do more of a wood stain tone rather than something that's like chipped painted sort of look but I love those. Next we're going in with our tiles. I wasn't able to get the exact sort of wall tile I was thinking of because obviously SketchUp doesn't really have that wide variety of different kinds of whites so I just put together the wall tile and I ended up doing more of a long and skinny tile sort of a subway tile and it's going vertical on the one wall where the vanity is going to be. And then the floor tile like I said I sort of went with a dark sort of warmish charcoal color and those are in bigger pieces that way it just sort of contrasts with those smaller subway tiles on the wall just to sort of you know again just play with that contrast and sort of give the room a little bit of depth and then I started to make the vanity which was about nine and a half feet long or so again we're thinking Lux and I wanted there to be two sinks in there because if we're thinking the sky's the limit then it's got to have at least two sinks. So I started putting that together and that's also sort of a vintage wood sort of to match the arched doors that we just did. And now we're putting on the final touches on the vanity. We're adding things like the sconces, the mirrors, and the sinks. I ended up going with a round sort of mirror and sort of had a black rim around it. Like I said, I really did like the sort of rounded edge sort of rectangle mirror that we were just looking at in the movie 
board, but I really, really like the circular look as well. It really contrasts well with all of the 90 degree angles going on on the vanity and also the tile behind it. So I think that's also another really important tip. Contrast isn't just with color, it's also with shape. And with the sconces, I wasn't able to get exactly what was on my mood board, but with my SketchUp skills and the materials that I had within the app, I was able to get something that was somewhat what I was looking for. Now moving on to the shower room. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to add this in the beginning, which is why I'm adding it on now, but it's basically identical size to the closet and the little toilet room. Just to simplify things and I felt like it was a pretty decent size shower. And here's where I started putting together the door. Again, I just really, really love this sort of door. I think it is just really unique. It pops off the white walls. We have the tile on that one wall, but then we have all of the white going on on all the other three walls. So it just makes really, really good contrast. I put a little handle on there and I sort of put in some little windows to sketch up so it sort of looked a little bit more realistic. And then off camera, I added some different hardware and things to the antique doors and also a very sleek handle to the shower door. Up next, we're moving to the tub and the tub I wanted to put right in front of the window. Um, obviously I didn't put in any curtains or any sort of blinds or anything because it is SketchUp, but I would definitely install those just for the privacy effect. But I just really like how when you walk into the room, it's the first thing that you see. And you guys are gonna see that there are a few like lines and things when I made the tub that pulled up. I tried to erase them, but SketchUp didn't like that and it started to sort of break apart my tub. So just imagine a very very sleek looking tub and another thing I found in this and trying to find a material for the tub was a sort of quartz marbly looking material and I ended up putting that on top of the vanity just because I like a little bit of color and I think that it had just a little bit of character to add. And then we put a little faucet over the tub. I love the idea of having the faucet sort of mounted on the wall and sort of hanging over. I feel like that's just very luxe and very custom feeling and I just think that it, it really just ties that space together, adds in a little pop of gold, sort of that bronzy looking finish and I just think it looks stunning. And uh, lastly, we are adding on our finishing touches. We are adding in a little bit of decor. You guys are gonna see that I tried to find a big house plant to go like right next to the vanity on the left to sort of fill in that space. And like I said, there are some other things I would add that I just didn't add in the program, but it was huge. Like it was like three times the size of my room. I have no idea why. So just imagine a beautiful plant there. And then I just added like a runner in front of the vanity that way when you're doing things you are comfortable you have something soft to step on added a little rug in front of the tub I also added some floating shelves to the wall that's sort of next to the windows and also the tub and I feel like that is just so pretty I love the sort of reclaimed wood looking shelf floating shelf sort of look I guess and then I put a bunch of vintage artwork on there I would also incorporate like sculptural pieces and stuff like that just to sort of break it up a little bit. Didn't have that in SketchUp, but just imagine it's there. And then off camera, I did add in a few touches, which we are going to get to now in the full tour of this finished space. So here is what our room looks like. I think it is so, so pretty. It has all of those elements, except maybe the greenery, but I wasn't able to add those sorts of details on here. But we are going to look over at the vanity. Like I said, the sconces aren't exactly what I wanted, but I love how the countertop turned out. I love how the vanity turned out. I really like that sort of look. I added a little bit of artwork over on the wall next to the entrance door, just to sort of fill in that gap. And I just think it looks so, so pretty, especially with that sort of burlap looking runner. Very organic and it just sort of brings everything together, brings a little bit of life. And, and now we are going on to the second half of the main part of the bathroom, which is the tub area. Love the big windows, love natural light. This tub looks so luxurious. 
And then we have the floating shelves over to the left with all of the little art pieces. I love to do lots of different sizes, a few different colors, again bringing in a little bit of contrast, a little bit of that black and those grays, but also some of those beiges, whites, ivories, and things like that. And now we are going to turn our attention over to the shower. I just sort of roughly filled it in with the same tiles that we put out in the bathroom. I'm not sure if I do this in real life, but I really like how it looks. And then I added in a big shower head. This closet is my storage dream. I have towels on the top, towels in the middle, some storage bins, cabinets. I just feel like it's very organized and honestly just my like bathroom organization dream. It's just so pretty and I love how it's sort of a walk-in closet. If it's messy, you can close the door and it's perfectly fine. Now we're going over to the toilet broom. I decided to add this little wallpaper. I thought it was the closest to what I was looking at in my mood board. This one's a little bit more blue, but I also added sort of like a picture ledge above the toilet. I really, really love that trend. I love to layer pieces and I sort of put a few things together. And sort of a tip for SketchUp, if you want to use some sort of pattern, look at the different textiles and things in the sort of painting category category and you can usually find some pretty good patterns and then if you'll notice on the other two walls I sort of put a paneling to sort of accent it and brewing it all together but that is essentially what our room looks like it is starting to get super super dark and it's only like 6 15 no it's 5 15 okay that's wait what? Why is... Oh, <laughs> it's 6.15. I was looking at the recording. But I think that's my sign to wrap up this video. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Again, let me know in the comments, like, what are some of your dream features in your dream bathroom? I feel like I have so many. The list can go on and on. I can get pretty high maintenance if I really want to. So let me know in the comments below. I'd like to know. Make sure you subscribe. You like this video if you enjoyed all of these DIY designs. I will link the other ones again in the description below as well as the makeover that we did after we did the DIY design. So you sort of see it actually come to fruition and I think it's just really really fun to watch and I just I get really excited about these things so I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for spending some time with me over on my channel today and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye you guys!